Do you know what your devices are doing when no one's watching? Do you know who they're talking to when no one's looking? Because I assure you, you probably don't. Unless you're running Pi-hole. Pi-hole has the potential to block ads, improve security, stop tracking and spyware, improve your privacy, improve your internet speed, all on a network-wide level. I've been using it for the past six months. This is not a tutorial, but I'm going to show you my dashboard, talk about my setup and my experience with it. Pi-hole primarily primarily works as a DNS sinkhole among many other things, but TLDR, what is DNS and why should you care? Anytime you want to go somewhere on the internet, for example, you tell your browser to go to www.website.com. Before your computer can go to an address, it needs directions. Humans access the internet through domain names like website.com, whereas computers and servers access the internet through IP addresses, which is like a list of numbers. And DNS is like the internet's phone book that translates those domain names into IP addresses. So when you tell your computer, go to www.website.com, it will first go to a DNS server and ask it to translate. I'm going to website.com. What is the IP address? The DNS server replies said, here is the IP address. Your computer then makes a connection. This is a simplified version of what happens when your computer makes a connection on the internet. It happens faster than you can blink your eyes, but it's essential to the way the internet works. Pi-hole is kind of like having your own personal DNS server for all your local devices. Why is this useful? Well, let's say you go to website.com and they run ads. Under the hood, when you load that page, they're going to connect to multiple domains. They'll connect to a domain that downloads and loads those ads onto your page. They might connect to another domain that tracks you as a user. Or you may have smart devices like a smart TV, a Roku, a TCL, an iPhone with applications on it. And without you knowing, these smart devices make connections on their own. Every single day, they send out thousands of requests, make thousands of connections without you knowing. And could you believe me if I told you that not all of them are for functioning. Some of them are for collecting data on you. I know that is super surprising and shocking to hear, but it's true. They collect telemetry, analytics, and data about you and the activity on the device. They use it to show you personal ads, to track you across different platforms, and data brokers sell that to advertising companies. Pi-hole is a service that sits on your network and filters these requests. If a device wants to make a connection, Pi-hole first screens the address. And if it's going somewhere for ads, telemetry, analytics, phishing, malware. It'll look at that request and say, hey, did you just blow in from Stupid Town? I'll give you an address to Nothingville where you can go get yourself a nothing burger. And this is called DNS sinkhole. Intercepting DNS requests and giving out non-routable addresses to any unwanted connections. Pi-hole will automatically eliminate ads and other blacklisted sites on your network. And again, it does this by not resolving on the DNS level. In other words, it doesn't just block the ads. It just doesn't load them at all. It sends it to the ether. In theory, this makes your internet faster, your bandwidth lower, and as a whole, Pi-hole serves to block all unwanted traffic on any device that's connected to your network. No, it's not perfect. No, it is absolutely not a catch-all. If a website wants to be cheeky, like YouTube, they'll load the ads from the same domain as the rest of the website and the content that you're viewing, meaning to block that ad, you gotta block the whole website. In that case, you would need something like uBlock Origin and Ad Blocker on the browser level. Pi-hole is just another layer to add in terms of security, ad blocking, privacy on a network level. And by default, you're router, if you haven't changed it, is most certainly going to be using your ISP's DNS server, meaning that every time your network makes a DNS request, every time you look something up, it's going to go to your ISP and they're going to have a log of all the domains you go to. Pi-hole is a very useful tool. It's packaged in a nice, easy to use interface. There are other options like AdGuard, but I've been using Pi-hole and I enjoy it. I'm running mine right now on a Raspberry Pi 02W, which is a really cheap board. It's like the cheapest one I could find that has wireless on it. I've got about 10 devices that use it for DNS, and even that is more than enough than I need for regular usage. The minimum requirements are two gigabytes of free space and half a gig of RAM, so it's pretty lightweight. And the default automated installation is a single line in Bash. You can use any popular Linux or Raspberry Pi OS, but you do have to have a little bit of technical know-how, especially to troubleshoot when things don't go right in your 
specific scenario and to get the most out of Pi-hole. But if you don't, this is a great project to pick up those skills and learn about everything from networking to Linux to Raspberry Pi. I, like many other people, imported a lot of my own block lists. And I also use Pi-hole as my DHCP server. And I also run Unbound on it as a local recursive DNS resolver. Basically, instead of forwarding my allowed DNS lookups, I resolve them myself and then I cache that information locally. So you don't have to send it to any upstream server that could keep information about you. So I'll pop into the dashboard. And as you can see, they've got a nice little web interface that makes everything really easy to use. You can see information about the clients, their addresses, their activity, how many uh, queries they're making information about stuff that's getting blocked. And as you can see, these are how many domains that I'm like actively blacklisting. See, there's some phishing, malware, malware. And if we go to them, you can see these are just uh, text files with domains to be blacklisted. I do like occasionally looking through these to see what devices are making a lot of noise. So look at everything getting blocked. You can see who it was. So this is one of my Roku's. Um, here's my PC and you can see what was blocked, what type of query it was, um, and then why it was blocked. A vast telemetry, like the antivirus, a lot of Roku logs. Here's blocked requests for my phone. So let's look at, these are all the domains my phone's reaching out to. Some Apple metrics, app analytics, YouTube metrics. You can see, look, these are all within a minute of each other. How many requests it's trying to make and how many things it's trying to connect to. And I'm not even on my phone. And this is another cool thing. Since you are acting as a local DNS server, you can configure local DNS records. So instead of going to this IP, I can instead just go to pihole.local. and see it'll do the same thing. Like I said, I'm running Unbound as a local DNS resolver. So when I have a DNS request that is allowed, instead of forwarding it on to someone like uh, Cloudflare or Quad9, I use Unbound to resolve that locally and go straight to the source. And then I cache the information so you can see I'm running that. And like I said, you can do DHCP as well, which is helpful because my router, you can't turn off DHCP. In order to force everything to use my DNS, I had to configure my router to only hand out one IP address and that's a reserved IP address to my Pi hole and then I hand out IPs through Pi hole and they get all the DNS information that way and again this is like one of the cheapest Raspberry Pis I could find you can see 20% memory usage 10% CPU usage and that's by top so for me personally the biggest benefit is the privacy and a little bit of security I think a lot of people probably the majority use it exclusively for blocking ads and honestly I don't recommend this to people who don't care that much which is probably the overwhelming majority but if you are still watching you are probably interested and if you want to dive deeper this is a really great project to learn about Linux command line interface Raspberry Pi DHCP of course DNS to learn what real DNS traffic looks like, to get experience with an open source project and community, to learn how to troubleshoot and network. And again, Pi-hole is just another layer in a defense in depth approach, a useful tool to have, and just a fun project for people who care about security, privacy, and blocking ads.